Welcome to a car key lawn that doesn't look like a weed and actually looks decent. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it is looking really, really schmick at the moment. Super, super happy with how this looks. Nice and tight, great color, starting to stripe up. The lawn, I actually didn't think I'd be able to get the kike looking like this, so I'm really, really happy with the results. But we wanna take it the next step. I wanna take it down to 10 mil. So I'm gonna scalp it back a little bit below 10 and see how it handles it basically and then bring it up from there. So we'll try that. Um, we're gonna fix some plugs in the lawn, some spot where there's some bare spots, show you guys how to do that. Let's just get straight into it. I'm excited, it's gonna be a good day. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. First thing on the agenda today is to pick, fix up this bare patch just here. So there was a tree here. I pulled it out on the weekend because it was just getting in the way of mowing. We've got so many trees on this property. I thought it'd be fine if I pulled this little bad boy out. And it's the same trees as one behind me here anyway. So we're going to plug this area, help it fill in. So I'll explain to you guys a few different ways you can fill in the bare patches in your lawn. Now it's gonna depend on your grass type and if it creeps or not. So if you've got something like ryegrass, fescue, something along those lines, a grass type that does not creep sideways, you're probably going to have to seed a bare patch, to be honest, otherwise your lawn is never gonna fill in in those bare patches there. But if you have something like kaikuyu, buffalo, cooch, zoysia, Queensland blue cooch, bent grass, Kentucky bluegrass, any of those grasses that self-repair, your lawn is gonna fill those bare patches in over time. It may, may take a little bit of time for a bare patch to fill in. I'd highly recommend that you aerate the area so that um, it's not super, super compacted. So this area just here, the soil is very, very loose because we aerated recently and I've dug down and pulled a tree out. So the soil is quite loose there. I've actually got quite a few runners in here as well, which if I left this, it would probably fill in I'd say within six weeks, maybe eight weeks, depending on how we go. I'd obviously put down liquid fertilizers on this area quite often. Some products with some seaweed in it to help the roots repair as well in that area. But we're gonna do a little bit quicker with plugging today. Now, I could seed it as well, kaikuyu, but I'd rather um, let kaikuyu and cooch and all those other grasses fill in instead of putting seed down. Just so it's gonna be the same grass in those areas and not a slightly different cultivar or variety. Now you could also sprig your lawn so you could get some of your runners that are in your lawn, like in your good areas, pull them out. Obviously that, oh, there's a tiny runner. <laughs> it's hard to grab them at the moment because the lawn's nice and short. But you could find yourself a runner like this, plant it in that soil that's over there, that nice loose soil, top dress on top of it with some sand or some of the soil you've got existing there as well, and then keep the water up to it like seed. So that is sprigging. So you can also do that. You can do the same thing if you scarify your lawn, like we do at renovation time. You use all that chaff and actually chuck it over that area, all the chaff that you pull out, the scarifyings, and treat it like seed as well, water it, and it will fill in quickly as well. Heaps better way to do it, if you can, than letting it creep in over time by itself. Now the last thing we can do, which is what I'm actually gonna do today, is this is the outside of the lawn that I'm keeping care of on the edge here. So I don't water this area. I don't put fertilizer on it. I don't put anything on it. I'm mean, obviously some fertilizer kicks across. So there's some, this has been fed a bit by granular fertilizer because it's flicked across. But we can actually take some plugs with the plugger, take them from here like this. Oh yeah. Plug it here. Take this plug here, which has grass in it take a, another plug from the bare patch, pull that bit of soil out with this and place that plug in that area over there and fill it in as much as we can. It's almost like laying turf to an extent, but we're getting out a chunk of the roots as well. So it's gonna establish nicely. It's not gonna be super stressed out. You don't need to water as much. Just a very simple way of doing it. If you've got yourself one of these tools, which shout out to the guys at Real Solutions as well. They supply this to me last year or the year before, it's a pro plugger. It's done some work, me and my brother even took it to the bowling green, his golf course, when they redid the top of it. They took the top off and redid it, laser level it and stuff, and used this to fill in some bare patches. You can see it's, it's seen better days. 
but it does a good job. Works well on the bowling green too. So all my plugs are in there, so it does look a little bit funky looking. But you can see them all in here. Now I'm gonna to top dress this. Now I didn't have to put a ton of plugs in here because there's already lots and lots of grass existing there. Runners that were stuck in here, as you can see, this is all existing grass through here. I'll just let that fill in. We had a couple of big bare patches like these areas just here, so that's why we put those plugs in. Now I could pack it out with more plugs, but I wanna show you guys how this self repairs over time. So let's give it a top dress. Go from there. Right, so today we're setting this down at, I'm actually gonna set it at 10 mil and see how it looks. If I need to take it lower, I will, because my goal is 10 mil for this lawn. That's what my goal was as soon as we moved into this place, and I finally decided to actually do it. So this lawn's set at 15 mil at the moment. We'll just double check that now with the Aki gauge. 15.2 is what it's currently set at. So, let's just wind, it, wind the rear cylinder up, which will take us down. So we only need to go five mil, so drop it up. So it's sitting at, currently at 10.08. 10.3, it's gotta go the other way, whoops. 10.02, so it's very touchy this thing. If you move it around even a tiny bit, look at that, now it's sitting on 10.03. Anyway, so that's close enough. We don't need to go any more crazy with that. So we tighten up the locking nut and we're done. I talk about this quite often, so when you're trying to train a lawn to get lower, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can take it down bit by bit, which is going to take you a very, very long time, or you can just decide to scalp like a couple of mil below the height that you want to cut. So you scalp down below it, and then after that you let it grow back up and you keep mowing at that higher height. It just resets your height of cut, brings the crowns down a little bit lower, so you don't scalp after every single cut. So you find if your lawn's going yellow, after you cut your lawn, probably need to scalp it back, reset your height of cut, cut a little bit lower than you normally would, then start cutting higher at your desired height of cut again. So today, I'm just doing a bit of a trial here. I want to be cutting at 10 mil, so I'm just going to cut it at 10 mil, see if it's scalping. If it's not scalping, we'll keep it there. Otherwise, after one cut, we might take a little bit lower. That's the idea. It is really, really low. Like that is looking tight. I probably wouldn't take it too much lower than this just because Kaikia has such a thick leaf blade and the runners are quite thick as well. So the stolons on top like this, as you can see, we need to groom this lawn now to prevent it doing that. And using plant growth regulator, we'll stop that to an extent as well because we're gonna shorten the distance between the nodes. So this ain't gonna be as thick and juicy once we train it over the next little bit. Now, be aware that it will take a little while to train it, train it properly, so the leaf blade starts getting a little bit smaller and the runners and everything like that. It could take us a month, two months, we will see, but it's gonna be regular grooming. I'll probably do it every two weeks to start off and then back it off to monthly once this starts to really tighten up and look good. But I don't think I need to take any lower than bring it up again because we haven't really scalped that much after a double cut. I think a double cut's gonna be fine for it today. Yeah. Look at that, looking pretty good. Now it just needs that grooming done to it.
it pretty good. Definitely is shorter. We got actually quite a bit of grass off. You can see in the skiddy at the front there, it's a full bucket of grass clippings, which is ridiculous. Hey, Schnitty, do you want to hop out of the way so I can show people? Come here. <laughs> he likes it. You should have seen him rolling around in it when I was mowing. <laughs> he must scratch your back. It is a bit spiky. So, if we get down to the soil level here, it's sitting at about, it's legit sitting at about 10 mil. Now, if you stood the blades up a little bit, it's put more sitting up towards 15 mil. So the thing is that we need to start doing is, while I was talking about grooming, is grooming is gonna help all the leaf blades stand up, pull some of the runners up. So when we cut it, we actually get a more true cut and it's not gonna lay down as much. So over time, the more and more you groom, the more and more dense the lawn is gonna get because it's actually gonna stand up more and it's gonna grow more upright, if that makes sense. And it's sort of similar, the same sort of concept with plant growth regulator. If we can do both at the same time, use that plant growth regulator to help it tiller and thicken up and keep on top of grooming as well. When I say grooming, only gonna go light grooming. So we're gonna get nick into the canopies of the top surface of the lawn. We're not gonna go underneath like we would with scarifying. So you, when, after doing it, you won't really see too much difference to be honest, once you've mowed it, like it won't even look like you've done anything, but over time, it just trains the grass to grow a little bit more upright, knit together a little bit tighter, paired along with plant growth regulator. Really, really good combination if you wanna get your grass nice and low. So you probably have to do it a little more regularly with Kai Q because it is so thick bladed. With Cooch grass, it's gonna more naturally do it um, than Kai Q would. Wouldn't recommend going this low with Buffalo. I mean, I've seen people do it, but man, you've gotta be on top of it you have got to be on top of it. You've got to be mowing all the time. You're going to be using plant growth regulators at very low rates, around three mil per hundred square meters. And you're going to be grooming it really, really, really light grooming with buffalo. You've got to be careful with that stuff. He basically just nicking into the top with buff. But I reckon it's looking good. Really, really good. Excited to test this out, push to the limit. See how we go looking at 10 mil. I reckon like I probably this weekend Put some more liquid iron on here. I might even groom it this weekend and film it, do another video. Just really start ripping into this, working on it, making it looking as pristine as I can for the kike. And we're also gonna start working on the golf green and stuff very soon, because it's pretty much nearly dry now. I'm not supposed to get too much rain over the next little bit. I think we get 40 mil over the weekend, and then it's dry for a little bit after that. So we should be sweet now that our temps are starting to warm up. Make sure you guys stick along along the journey with this to see how we get it looking at 10 mil. Over the next couple of weeks, it's gonna cut, start looking better and better as we train this to be lower. But I'll tell you what, it's not looking too bad at the moment. Just need to get those, rid of those runners, get rid of the scalpy look, get some more color back into it with some liquid iron. It will be sweet, loving it. All right guys, thanks so much, appreciate yous. I'll see you guys in the next one.